In this problem, we're told a sled is initially given a shove of a frictionless 23 degree incline. It reaches a maximum vertical height of 1.12 higher than where it started. What was its initial speed? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on first before we solve the problem. So imagine this right here is going to be our incline. So this is going to be the incline. And we know it's going to be at 23 degrees. So this angle right here is 23 degrees. And so the sled is initially given a shove up it and it's going to go reach a maximum vertical height 1.12 meters higher than where it started. So let's just say right here is where it's going to reach, right? So this distance, and so we're going to say this distance right here is 1.12 meters. So this right here is going to be our drawing. Uh, let's actually add a person, right? So imagine this is the person on the sled. So this is going to be them at the beginning, and then this is going to be them at the top. So that's our drawing. And how do we solve this problem? So in order to solve this problem, there's two formulas you need to know. You need to know the formula for kinetic energy, right? I'm going to call that K sub E and then potential energy. So the formula for kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. And then for potential energy, it's equal to mg and then y. So essentially what these are, this is the mass, velocity, mass, gravity, and then y is going to be the height of where it's at. So when we label our drawing, we want to make it specific, right? So if we say this is the ground floor, we're going to say this right here is zero. So, right, so when the person starts, they're at zero, and then where they're here, they're going to be 1.12 meters up. So how do we go about solving this? So essentially what we want to do is take the kinetic energy and the potential energy at the first point. So I'm going to call this point one, and then this is going to be point two. So we're going to set them equal to each other. So we're going to take the kinetic energy at point one plus the potential energy at point one, and we're going to set it equal to the kinetic and potential energy at point two. So essentially we just take these formulas. And so when I label these, uh, I'm going to call when it's at point one, uh, I'm going to label like velocity V1, right? So the velocity at point one, so one half, mv1 squared plus mg and then y1 right because y is when it's here and then set it equal to one half mv2 right so the velocity at the second point plus mg y2 so the height at the y point so in order to solve this problem let's go and find each of these variables let's find v1 y1 v2 y2 so let's write them down so v1 v2 y1 y2 so let's start with v1 so we know it's going to start here, right? And so V1 in this case is what we're going to want to be, right? So they're trying to find us its initial speed. So V1 is its initial speed and that's what we're solving for. So I'm just going to put question mark because that's what we're trying to find. So what about V2? So it's velocity here. So if you think about it, right, when it meets, uh, when it reaches or the person reaches their maximum height, their velocity is going to be zero, right? Because at this point, they're going to be like stuck. So at this point, they're going to be going zero meters per second. So that's going to be that. And then Y1 is going to be the height at the beginning and so remember how we said this is going to be zero so its height in the beginning is just going to be zero meters y2 is going to be the height right here and so we know they're going to go up 1.12 meters so y2 is going to be equal to 1.12 meters and so now we've got all the numbers essentially we can just go ahead and solve so what you should notice here first is that all the masses will cancel because there's a mass in every term so we can just cancel that out of every term so now we've got rid of that so we have one half v1 squared right so we're trying to solve for v1 so plus gravity and so g is just 9.8 so 9.8 times y1 which is just zero so plus 9.8 times zero is just zero so i'm just actually going to set it equal one half v2 squared notice how v2 is zero or v sub two so this is going to be zero plus i'm just going to not have this zero g which is 9.8 right times y2 and y2 is 1.12 so if we want to solve for v sub 1 the initial velocity multiply both sides by 2 you're going to get v sub 1 squared equals 9.8 times 1.12 times 2 and then if we square both sides we can get rid of the square right here so square root of 9.8 times 1.12 times 2 so if you go ahead and do this do the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 1.12. You're going to get that it equals 4.68529 and so on. I'm going to go ahead and just round it, though, to the hundredths place. So it's going to be equal to about 4.69. And so keep in mind what this unit is. We're using meters in seconds, right? So meters per second. Right? That's how you measure velocity. So 4.69 meters per second. That's going to be the initial velocity. And so, yeah, that's your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.